guys, Hayden here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favourite games of 2015, known as Grow Home, and possibly one of the only Ubisoft games that I will ever like. Grow Home was one of those little procedural animation experiments that turned into a full-blown game, and it's fucking incredible. It's only on the Steam store for $10 currently. I'm not going to be actually talking about, about the gameplay of Grow Home today. I'm actually going to be talking about the new, some news related to Grow Home. And for those of you guys who have been asking me in the comment section down below, yes, Grow Home is the game that I've been playing the last couple of days, and it is the gameplay of my last couple of videos. And if it looked cool in the fucking gameplay, it's even better when you actually play it yourself. Anyway, let's get right into the motherfucking news! Jesus, I'm going to give everyone an aneurysm now that that dead meme is almost gone. Anyway, on the recent news, Steam, thingy me jiggy forever again, they have... There's been an article posting which confirms that Ubisoft does have a sequel to Grow Home in production known as Grow Up. The article confirms that Grow Up is set just after Grow Home and it will feature characters such as obviously the lovable Bud, his ship AI, AI Jesus Christ, AI Mom, or Mom as you, you Americans call it, and Bud is also joined by a new character known as Pod, which is reportedly like a satellite thing. So following the events of Grow Home, Mum and Bud are reunited. Obviously it's not for long though, because afterwards, I also forgot to mention that Pod is reportedly supposed to play like a little sister figure to Bud. Bud and Pod also get separated from Mum or Mom. I know there's going to be some fuck in the comment section telling me it's not Mum, it's Mom. Anyway, but Bud and, Ma and Pod get separated from Mum, and Bud and Pod reportedly have to fucking reach a moon. Talk about Ubisoft attention attempting to reach new heights. You can also reportedly do gravity flips when you reach the fucking moon. The developers have also confirmed that Bud does have some new features, such as the ability to put down flora, which permanently changes the world around him, obviously within a small area. I'm not going to read the whole article for you guys, but it seems like they're trying to go for a new approach with Grow Home and make it bigger and better. You know, obviously it's Ubisoft, but I'm genuinely excited for this game, because hopefully if it's the same people working on grow up as they did with grow home hopefully they won't fuck it up i mean like i said before the full article is in the description down below if you want to check it out it's obviously an interesting read however i do have some concerns with this game but i am genuinely excited i want them to keep the old grow home magic that we all know and love i don't want them to fuck this game up and make it too complicated or too big or go for too much in typical ubisoft fashion obviously it's good to have new features and I do really love the idea of going to the fucking moon but I don't know <laughs> I just hope they really don't screw this up obviously some of those features sound good some of those features sound like a bit of a stretch and like I said before I love the idea of making grow home bigger and better because that's one complaint I do have about the old game is because it was obviously just like a little experiment there wasn't much to it well there wasn't enough to it so I'm all for adding more content to what an awesome game grow home is but I just hope they don't add too much to the point where it sort of loses that special magic that it did have. Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys with my views too much. But guys, as I said before, I just want to update you guys and hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave me a like and be, don't forget to buy this incredible game. Links are in the description down below because it is genuinely one of my favourite games of all time and definitely my favourite game of 2015. Also, let me know what you thought of the video down in the comment section down below and let me know if you would like to see any more videos on Grow Home because obviously the hype train is up and running after the announcement of a sequel to Grow Home. And let's just all pray to Lord Gaben that Ubisoft doesn't fuck this up and add too much to it or too little or just, just, just fuck it up. <laughs> That's all we want. Just don't fuck it up yourself, please don't. But if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe because I upload daily content that I really think you'll enjoy. And uh, yeah, I think I've had enough self-promotion for one day. I'll see you guys later. Go green, Hulk smash if she know me, know me, know me. Write it to life like I'm staying late, staying late, staying late. If life's about to be a cold war, I'm the hero that they asked for. Green, 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 green. I'm about to go, I'm about to go. Green, 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 green. I'm about to go, I'm about to go green, green, green. I'm about to go, I'm about to go green, green. Get the fuck back, I'm about to go green. I might begin making a feature a rack. Cause when I hit your beat, I turn shit to a rack. Dropping bombs like I'm cursing you out. This your house, then I'm kicking you out. Quiet as a mouse came in the game, now the word is out that I've been lighting the flame. Shit is potent, don't you know it? I've been flowing steady, growing till they know the name. Saw it ahead of time, knew that I get to my losing myself in the view that's some window pain. I swear I'm all about peace. I'm a positive person. Wasn't always like that. You know it took me some learning. They
Ask me how I push a positive light, how I keep my composure through internal fights when addressing the mic through these dark nights. Where the Bruce Wayne, what a trick be? Here's some truth that I'll let free. Bruce Banner of rap, if you ask me.